Let's talk about Alabama, Wisconsin. Big game breakdown for Monday. And here's the question. We talk Badgers and Crimson Tide. Does Wisconsin really have enough playmakers on either side of the field to keep this game competitive? You know, can this defense shut down or slow down, you know, Jalen Milrow, uh, Heisman Trophy candidate? We've seen the Badgers look very mediocre over the last two weeks. They had a 27 to 13 win over South Dakota. That wasn't particularly impressive. They had a, the, uh, another nondescript win against Western Michigan. Two games where they didn't really pull away until the fourth quarter. And of course, we talk about this program right now. There was a time that Wisconsin was capable of upsetting these sort of teams, even the Paul Christ era. In the Luke Fickle era, we haven't seen that yet. All that being said, Fickle's talking about, hey, we've been looking forward to this game for three years since I got here. Quote, it's the top team in college football in the last 20 years. You guys knew it. Yeah, it was dawning. It's been hanging over the top of our heads since the time we walked in the door here. But it's also to say, hey, you found you got to find a way to continue to measure yourself. It doesn't mean that you don't measure yourself in the first couple of weeks. You're challenged incredibly. You'll be challenged in a completely different way, and we'll find out where we are. We're certainly not likely to see a lot of public support for Wisconsin throughout the course of the week. They've been unimpressive for extended stretches of the first two games. Most concerning, probably the fact that South Dakota was able to run the ball down their throat last week. And week one against Western, they didn't have a play longer than 17 yards. No explosiveness with Tyler Van Dyke, the running QB who won the job in camp. So we've also seen Wisconsin stepping up in class against good teams. And really the only really good team they faced, only team to compare to Alabama. The last two years in the pickle era is Ohio State. They lost 24 to 10 and 52 to 21. Not all that competitive in either defeat. Before I talk about Alabama, I do want to say we got a great deal going right now. You can save 33% off a 30 day college football pass, just 99 bucks for 30 days, every play included. Just use code CFB99 at checkout to take advantage of that offer. Look, Alabama is still a top five team. They've blown out their first two opponents. West Kentucky. I mean, the South Florida game wasn't a blowout necessarily. It was tighter than expected. It was 21 to 16 midway through the fourth. And then Bama scored 21 points in the final six minutes to make the final score look more lopsided than the game actually was. But we talk about Kalen DeBoer and a track record worth betting on. The first four weeks of the season against the spread, I got him at seven and two against the number. And the two ATS losses, they were minus 34, one by only 33. Minus 30 and a half last week, one by only 26. I do not trust Wisconsin to hang with this level of team. I don't want the dog here. It's favorite or pass. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. And, of course, a comment below. We really appreciate it. There's your big game breakdown.